So let's see if that flying knee is coming. Both guys fighting out of the orthodox stance. Nice jab. Good jab. Oh. Beautiful takedown. Not only did he time it well, but he cut his leg off with that sweep so quickly. It's beautiful. And that's what I was talking about earlier. You want to see somebody put the weight on the leg they're sweeping? That's exactly what he did there. Right as uh, Reggie was trying to get comfortable throwing the hands, yep. change levels. Perfect time. His body wasn't able to react to it. Trying to lock down that leg. Reggie able to almost recover his guard and does. Oh, nice short elbow there from Speed. Reggie's got a hold of that wrist. Oh, and I like he's tying up that wrist there. If he can get a hold of it with his right hand, he'll be able to throw shots with free reign with his left hand. I think that's called the Dagestani handcuff. <laughs> yeah. Made famous by Habib. <laughs> Habib. Yeah, the Dagestani handcuff is when they, uh, they triangle the legs um, together. So you, you're kind of just sitting there and your legs are trapped together. Yeah, he'll lace the legs up, too. Yep. He really traps you on all fronts, which is really smart. One of the best ways to execute ground and pound, take nice one of their arms out of the equation. That was a hard elbow from Key Speed off the top. And again, I mean, in pro MMA, it's like these positions where it's really awkward to land a good punch. Ooh. You can land a solid strike with those elbows. Nice scramble. That was an extremely explosive escape. Max going to try to work this underhook and try to wrench him up, and he does. Keith hit a good takedown from the clinch earlier, although it was out in open space. It's a little different against the cage. Now Reggie looking to change levels possibly. Yeah, and Keith did an excellent job with the underhook there. Was not able to get below that because that underhook was driving his body up. Nice elbow. Yeah, it looks like he just grazed the top of his head. That's where cuts start to happen. That underhook is really well utilized by Keith. And he gets the second one. Now he's in position for a takedown. Ooh. Nice outside trip. That was a beautiful trip. And he's going to start to take the back here, but the cage is going to affect that. I think he should try to stay behind Mac instead of going in front of him. Starting to get on the back here. Right now he's got one hook, gets the second. That choke is starting to look a little bit dangerous. Didn't look like no panic from Reggie. Yeah, Reggie definitely seems calm here. He knows the cage is there and is going to affect this, and he starts to walk out. Gives up the hook again, but it's going to be hard to finish this choke with the cage here. Nice transition to armbar. That really was slick. Almost That's got that almost extended. Reggie's going to have to it. walk off the cage here. He's out, but he's in a triangle. And that arm is across. I don't know how much time they have left, but he's in deep trouble and here, and these are big elbows. elbows. He's throwing elbows. You got Reggie Mack trapped in a triangle. I think this is tight. He's he out. He's asleep. He's out. That's it. 
Oh he, my! Wow! Oh my! Keith, what a speed way to end the night with the triangle choke finish. I think he's just starting to understand what happened. And Keith wow. Speed puts Reggie Mack to sleep. The end of the first round. And Keith saw it before anybody else. He kept pointing and telling them. Wow. What a finish by Keith Speed. With 10 seconds left or less. Yeah, it clapped and he told the ref. Yeah, it really was against a guy who's a, a pretty high-level wrestler himself. But Absolutely. this is MMA, and timing it well with your striking, that's going to get you takedowns regardless of what your background is. And we'll hear here in just a moment the uh, final decision. The final call on that decision. That was an excellent way to end the night. It really was. And fitting for uh, you know, a submission. Yeah, it was a submission heavy card. We saw some really good grappling tonight. Submission of the night's gonna be just as hard as performance of the night. It's the yeah. same thing tonight. Hey, well, when the main event delivers a fantastic performance, I mean. Oh, I love when they close the show out well. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. We have the official result of your main event this evening of Combat Night Pro Duval. At four minutes and 53 seconds, here is your winner by technical submission. Fighting this evening out of the blue corner, Keith Speed. Keith Speed gets it done. Fantastic performance by him here in the main event from Combat Night Pro Duval. So.